With it is basically a chlorophyll detection system used to detect uh, weeds in fallow conditions. So weed it was developed in 1999 as a spin-off uh, commercialization project uh, from a university in the Netherlands. And the first 10 years it was uh, mainly developed for pavement spraying. And since the last 10 years, um, development has really been focusing on road acre agricultural applications. Uh, so by using an active light source that is put onto the ground and uh, we look at the reflectance from the topsoil. So we scan specifically for chlorophyll, so basically actively growing plants. And then when a weed is detected, um, that particular nozzle is opened up to eliminate, eliminate that particular weed. And we can do that uh, up to driving speeds of uh, 16 miles per hour in uh, daylight and nighttime conditions. You can basically, as a farmer now, adopt a different kind of spray strategy. So go into your fields early when your weeds are still young. And by doing that, uh, really have a good kill rate. The biggest reason I, I sourced out the weeded system is it was the most reputable spot spraying system that I could find anywhere on the internet with the best proven track record. And I was looking at, um, on our farm, more of a sustainable approach and fighting weed resistance. We're in the southeastern part of Alberta where we've uh, chem fellowed for 20 years prior to, to going to continuous cropping. So we have major resistance issues with kochia and wild oats on our farm. And I found the weeded system a really good fit instead of spraying a whole bunch of glyphosate where there are no weeds to have a very targeted approach to how we do our weed management on the farm. So we're only putting chemical where it needs to be. And it allows us to use a lot stronger tank mix chemicals um, with more modes of action against hard to kill weeds and to use the correct rates and, and higher rates that I could afford to use with a spot spray system as opposed to blanketing across every acre. I brought the first system to Canada in 2017 um, and then Croplands took over the distribution rights in 2018 or 2019 in July and um, ever since then we've worked with developing our own boom with specialty spray systems and ever since we've had our own boom developed to take the extra sensor, sensor weight, uh, lots of momentum gains in the, in the spot spraying. Uh, the latest big push for momentum for us is the surging prices of glyphosate. Before, when it was $5 a liter, uh, it wasn't so critical how much glyphosate you were putting down. But now at north of $14, $15 a liter, it's been a, a very good sales program for us to try and save farmers as much money as they can, as well as being a lot more sustainable and using a lot less chemical while they're covering the acres that they need to cover for spring and fall burnoff. For us, it's really important to obtain data from specific areas where we operate in. So we work closely together with our customers to ob obtain saving data on savings and on um, efficacy. Plus, we also work with local research stations. Uh, two examples are the Olds College, based out of Olds, and the Lakeland College, based out of Lloydminster and Vermilion. Uh, they do independent research for us, and uh, we receive uh, reports about performance in Western Canadian conditions. We've seen some really, really remarkable savings. I guess uh, for a quick example, we've seen some 10,000 acre farms have a full ROI payback in, in two years on their farms. And that is just from spring and fall burnoff. And now if you extrapolate that over what glyphosate prices are now on a 10,000 acre farm, you're, you're looking almost the, um, in the first year to have your full, full money back. And there are farmers that are adapting it for desiccation with some of our new sensitivity settings. Uh, to save more more money on their farms also. On our farm we've seen a lot less kochia problems since we've been using the system uh, just because we can target the weeds uh, with with high rates of chemical and with the dual mode in the spring we can put a, a background rate um, on everything to make sure we have no misses and we see a, a huge increase in the amount of acres per day that we can do out of our sprayer just because we're not losing the efficiency of our sprayer with fill times. So there's way, a lot less fills, a uh, lot less water hauling, a lot less water use, 
and uh, overall a lot more sustainable package uh, for our spring and fall spraying. Because you can go through your fields early and suppress the hard to kill weeds, that actually over time the weed seed banks uh, can actually be decreased. So for us that is a really good indicator that the system is, uh, is doing its job. We're also working on uh, elaborate mapping and uh, loading in prescribed maps in the future. Um, beside that, we're also working on biomass sensing on the go. Uh, so when you go through your field, you can actually either map uh, your biomass density or you can spray accordingly in uh, some kind of a variable rate uh, application on the go. As our uh, new developments this year with the mapping and the biomass sensing are, are coming in, in in 2022, I see it as a as a being widely adopted across all of Canada. The the benefits that we can do from weed density mapping and the biomass sensing will help uh, farmers all over Western Canada to possibly VR fungicide or in conjunction with their agronomy maps, upload the maps and be able to variable rate any products that, that they, they want to apply to their crops. I think uh, the spray industry in the next five to ten years is going to going to evolve faster than we can almost keep up with it. I think um, this is just the start. Optical spot spray systems will be um, the start of the, the new revolution of, of the spray industry. I think they'll be widely mainstream in the next few years and you know I think the adoption will come from the green on brown like we're doing now all the way to the green on green with artificial intelligence and and weed identification um, in years to come.